Do you feel your ear is blocked with wax? Are you troubled by repeated ear blockage due to wax formation? Let's talk about this common problem. Ear wax is considered as a problem by most people. However, it is not. Ear wax is a natural secretion of the ear canal skin, which has multiple benefits. It maintains the pH of the skin. It prevents itching, prevents infection, and also prevents foreign bodies from entering the ear. But yes, it can become a problem if it is too much. What can happen if there is too much of wax in the ear? Excessive wax in ear can cause ear blockade, ear pain, decreased hearing, tinnitus, or a buzzing sound in the ear. A person may feel as if his own voice is echoing on the head on that side. It can also cause irritability and fighting tendency. So if the ear is blocked, how do we clean it? First and foremost, do not use earbuds. Earbuds are only meant to clean the outer skin folds. They are not meant to clean the inner ear canal. Using earbuds can push the wax further inside the canal. Since ear canal is shaped like a funnel, so the further deep in it goes, it causes impaction and the wax can get really hard to remove. Also, using earbuds can cause damage to the eardrum. There are some other over-the-counter products also available to clean the ears like some suction pumps or certain type of scoops. We do not recommend people to use these at home because when you are trying to clean your ear yourself, you are doing it blindly. But when a doctor cleans it, the doctors, they clean it under vision. Now how the doctor will clean the ear? Your doctor will first examine your ear either with an otoscope or an endoscope. First to confirm the diagnosis, whether the blockage in the ear is because of wax or there is some other problem like fungal infection. Then there are three methods to clean the ear. First is suction. So these days almost all doctors have a suction machine by which they can suck out the wax from the ear canal. However, it has to be soft. Sometimes the suction doesn't work against hard wax. Second method is syringing. Here we flush the ear canal with either water or dilute betadine to flush out all the secretions and wax from the ear. Third method is a probe, which is an instrument where we scoop the wax out of the ear canal. Sometimes the wax is very hard and it is difficult to remove. In such people, we have to give eardrops first for a couple of days. The ease, these eardrops, they make the wax soft and then after a few days, we can clean it easily. In some cases, there is a lot of pain along with the wax. So this pain is usually because of an associated infections, bacterial or fungal along with wax. So in such cases, we may have to give antibiotic or antifungal drops along with the wax dissolving drops. Now another common question is, do we need to get our ears cleaned regularly? So in short, the answer is no, because the ears are self cleaning organs. The skin in the ear canal, it grows from center of eardrum outwards. So skin in the body grows in two patterns. The skin over here, new skin will come, the old will be shed off. But in the nails, new skin comes, old migrates. So similar migratory pattern is there in the ear canal also. So this, if we put a drop of ink on the ear drum and after a few weeks, we will see that drop shifted out uh, in the ear canal, just like the water ink. So essentially ears are self cleaning organs. So ears are self cleaning organs unless we disrupt this flow by using earbuds, earphones or even uh, hearing aids. Another question people ask us, is there a reason why I produce so much of ear wax? Why it starts accumulating every few months? So the answer is yes. There are certain reasons in which the wax, rate of wax formation is more than other people. Another common question asked is, is there any reason why I produce so much of ear wax? So the answer is yes. There are certain reasons which increase the rate of wax generation. First is genetic factors. There are certain alleles, certain genes which are associated with increased wax formation. Second, the size and shape of the ear canal. In some people, the ear canal may be narrow or it may be more tortuous, not straight. Third, the relation of the tympanomandibular joint, this, this joint with the ear canal, because the movements of this joint also help in expulsion of the wax. Then fourth, certain type of medicines a person might be taking. Fifth, emotional state of a person. Sixth, 
the type of skin whether the skin is oily dry flaky so if you noticed none of these factors is actually in our hands so the only thing practically which we can do to avoid wax getting accumulated is not to use earbuds and do not disrupt the normal flow of the skin if you have any other query please feel free to contact us on the given number or you can comment on the comment section